All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to call Allah, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahshah. It's Rabbi Bungai, Zealous Israel Camp. And I want to bring out this news article that I saw two weeks ago. Um, it's from Alpha Rudders, right? It says, after summer of protests, U.S. National Guard puts troops on standby for coming months, official says. So when it's off Washington, Rudders, Rudders. After a summer of civil unrest over racial injustice in the United States, the National Guard has put hundreds of military uh, police on standby specifically to help law enforcement deal with any potential violence in the coming months. Three U.S. military officials have told Reuters. Officials said that said the units consist of about 600 military police stationed in Arizona and Ab Alabama were a response to to lessen. To, to the lessons learned during the violent upheaval after a black man, George Floyd, died in late May when a Min Minneapolis police officer knelt on his neck. While the units were not specifically created to address potential violence around the November 3rd elections, their existence highlights how the military could help deal with unrest around the vote without deploying actor duty troops to cities a key tenant for pentagon leadership all right so um let's see yeah let me keep reading a senior national guard official speaking on the condition of excuse me of um i'm um, in um, 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 entity said the military police rapid response units had been established in the past months and could deploy to any part of the country within 24 hours if requested by go a governor. All right. So, um, yeah, so, you know, there's a tension, there's tension and feeling in the air of, of more civil unrest to come. All of these, all of this being um, prophesied in the scriptures, and what comes with that is uh, martial law. Like we've been, like the prophets have been telling you, out in the street corners, um, was going to happen. It's happening right before our eyes. All praises to you, how about Shimmy, how shy? All right, you know. Um, so this is what this was going to what it's coming down to. Okay. And just like in Nigeria, that happened a couple of days ago, where they were open, opening fire on the crowd, <clears throat> they're gonna open open live rounds on the crowd nowadays, man. Because civil unrest and these morons and these peons, they're gonna get so mad. You know, whatever venture, whatever faction, or whether they're being led by a governmental um, faction. To set up anarchy, it does not matter. What's going to happen is uh, these partic particular people are going to be mowed down, man, by these uh, martial law troops. The National Guard is going to be turned are going to be militarized. I mean, and they're going to militarize the police. All right. And this is what's going to what's to come. Actually. All right. Yeah. So this was to come. All right. To the United States of America, man, a militarized police force. Eventually, a UN troops are gonna come and hit the shores of America as well, man. They're gonna be locking, in, you know, because they're gonna be preparing for this uh, great upheaval and these 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 uprisings, man, and these sedition among men. All right. Actually, let me go ahead and go into that. Go into a damn near every week, you know. It's crazy. Um, but that's the times that we're living in. All right. Um, if I'm not mistaken, let me see. Let me see if I can go to another scripture because I could just. Yeah, let's go ahead and go to uh, Second Ezra. Let's go ahead and go to Second Ezra real quick. Go to Second Ezra. Six, and let's see if what I'm looking for is in verse 21. 
Actually, yeah, Salaki. Let's go ahead and go to Second Ezra, the uh, thirteen. I mean, the fifteen chapter. Let's just go ahead and go there because it hits right to the point. I'm thought, thought I found some in there. Second Ezra, sixteen, the sixth chapter, Salaki. But yeah, once again, woe. Uh, Second Ezra, fifteen and fourteen. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draw off nigh, and one people shall stand up to and fight against another, and and swords in their hands. And guess what? This is the swords in their hands, man. You know, it's going to be, you know, the uh, the citizens of America. Citizens everywhere, you know what I'm saying? Fighting against their governmental structure, fighting against the um, the powers that be, so to speak, against law enforcement. And this is what's going to go down. Okay? Uh, and it says, For there shall be sedition among men, invading one another they shall not regard the kings nor princes in the course of their actions shall stand in their power and that's what's getting ready to go down man very soon <clears throat> ain't nothing coming back to normal this is what's going to happen and this is what's going to go down in america okay so with that being said, let's go ahead and continue on in these scriptures. Let's go ahead and go to Let's go ahead and go to Yeah, let's go ahead and go to Habakkuk real quick. Habakkuk 3 and 16. When I heard, and so actually, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and go to verse 15. Thou didst walk through the sea with thy horses through the heap of great waters. And when I heard my belly tremble, my lips quivered at the voice, rottenness, entered into my bones and I trembled in myself that I might rest in the day of trouble. When he cometh up unto the, to the people, he will invade them with his troops. Although the fig tree shall not blossom, neither shall fruit be in the vines and the labor of the olive shall fail and the fields shall yield no meat. The, the flock shall be cut off from the fold and there shall be no herd in the stalls. All right. So that's what's going to go down. <clears throat> All right. Everything's going to be shut down eventually. People are going to be rioting. People are going to go against the uh, government. The government's going to go against the people. All right. There's going to be sedition amongst men with these National Guards. They're going to be they're preparing for it right as we speak. And this is what is going to go down. OK. Sedition among men. So, and, but let's let's go ahead and read verse eighteen. This is what the elect of the nation of Israel is yearning for and hoping for, because this is the end of this captivity and the beginning of our salvation in our kingdom that's soon to be established, the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of Israel. Habakkuk three and eighteen. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord Yahweh. I will joy in the God of my salvation. So salvation is soon to come in these troubling times, these tire, these trying times, like the troops coming in are, are the catalyst to our salvation. All right. So just brothers, you know, stay encouraged, you know, when you see these things look up because our, our salvation draw off nigh. All right. So with that said, you know, and have faith and, and pray and, and, um, Stay in the faith and, and pray for grace. So with that said, once they call law, you how about Shimei al Shime? All right, this is the right of God. Zealous Israel camp. I'm gonna say call law, Yahweh, Baha Shimei al Shai. That's it. Much love and shalom.